is Ezekiel the prophet anyway? What do we know about him? Well, he came from a family of priests. His father, Buzi, served the temple in Jerusalem. He was descended from the priestly family of Zadok. So Ezekiel has the unique background of being both prophet and priest, sort of. When Nebuchadnezzar invaded Israel, he took much of the aristocracy and the leadership of Jerusalem captive, and he took them back to Babylon in 597 BC. And that was to keep Israel from rising up and rebelling against him again. And all of this happened by God's direction, of course. God's people had rejected and neglected his word and his commands and his promises. They had even set up idols inside of Jerusalem's temple. So a time of punishment was upon them. Ezekiel had very likely been in training for the priesthood as he was from a priest's family. He was probably close to being finished with seminary, as it were, when the Babylonian army came knocking. And so now he has an identity crisis. There's no temple to serve because he's no longer in Jerusalem. He is married, but we know almost nothing about his wife. And once he's called by God into service as a prophet, he spends at least 22 years prophesying. And he isn't called into the prophetic office until he's 30, the age at which priests and rabbis and prophets typically began their service. His ministry has two main periods. He spends the first part of it trying to call Israel to repentance from their sin, back to trusting in the Lord. And then he spends the rest of his time really being a pastor, being a comforter to the same people after Jerusalem and the temple are destroyed by the Babylonians in 586 B.C. So what you see throughout the book of Ezekiel then, if you look at the parts where he writes about himself, is a real person with real concerns and real issues and a real love for the people that he serves. It's certainly not easy, this prophet gig, because he's rejected, he's made fun of, he's ignored, because the People of Jerusalem, they, they just can't believe this is happening to them. And the easiest target for their anger is the one who says, I bring God's word to you. Through all the questions, through all of the anger, through all of the rejection, Ezekiel remains faithful. He is the servant of the Lord. He has been called to speak the living and the true word of God, whether they listen or not, and he knows that the Lord is with him, even in the hard times. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.